So this one here, the indeterminate form, looks a little different. And we talked about this last week. The indeterminate form infinity over infinity is equivalent to 0 over 0. And that, that seems like an oxymoron. But what we can do is we can rewrite it as 1 over infinity over 1 over infinity. And so that ends up being 0 over 0. Um, so that allows us to use L'Hopital's rule in the same way as we were before with the 0 over 0 form. Um, so in this particular example, secant is what? 1 over cosine. And tangent is? Sine over cosine. We're going to need to know that. Um, the secant of theta, as theta goes to pi over 2, that's going to be a vertical asymptote. Um, since secant is 1 over cosine, cosine of pi over 2 is? Cosine of pi over 2 is 0, and 1 over 0 is going to give us infinity. Um, and then on the bottom, since we have sine over cosine here for tangent, again, we're going to have... 1 over 0, um, and that's going to go to infinity. So we have the indeterminate form infinity over infinity. And again, since that's equivalent to 0 over 0, L'Hopital's rule works. So what do I do? Okay, I, re I rewrite the limit. I'm always going to start by rewriting the limit. And then on top, I'm going to take the derivative of secant, which we had forgotten on Friday, but now we're going to know it, right? The derivative of secant is? secant times tangent, so secant of theta times the tangent of theta, and then the derivative of 1 is 0, that's going to fall out, and the derivative of tangent is secant squared. And then what we can do here is we can simplify this. We could try plugging pi over 2 in again, um, we're going to get infinity over infinity, but if we simplify first, we cancel the secants, we cancel the cosines in the tangent and the secant that's left, um, like that, we really end up with just the sine of theta. So as theta approaches pi over 2, sine of theta approaches, what is the sine of pi over 2? 1. 